for me not run into that and fall. I mean, that would be entertaining, but also painful. <laughs> Good morning, fam. I'm not focused. Hello? Okay. So I got a package today from, I guess it's Sojo's. This is, I just bought these on Amazon. They're my new blue light glasses because my other ones, I left them in my purse and somehow they got cracked. So I got these ones and they just got delivered today. Sanitized the outside of the package, sanitized this. Now I'm gonna open them. I also, should be getting one more thing today. And I'm super excited about it, but let me open these up. I'm filming and everyone can hear you. Ooh, they're cute. They're just for blue light if you get headaches on the computer. But I saw someone on Instagram wearing them and I thought they were super cute. He hung up on me, what the heck. He hits his AirPods all the time on accident and then hangs up on me. So I got them on Amazon. I think they're super cute. Obviously it's very glary right now, but um, We'll see how they work while I'm working on the computer because I do get headaches and they have a little carrying case as well and then they do come with a little blue light so that you can test you know how much blue light is getting through on your glasses and yeah that's all that's in here oh this is the blue light testing card so that you can make sure that they're authentic but I think they're pretty cute. You can see they have a bit of a tint to them. It's not super like obvious, but they do really help on the computer. These were significantly cheaper than my ones from Key Australia. And if they work quite as well, that would be great. I'll link them down below if you like this kind of thing. But yeah, they feel comfy on the face. They're wide enough for my face, which is a huge issue that I have as someone with a really fat face. And yeah. Coffee. I love this gold bendy straw. Super cute. I put on my onesie because it's cold in here in like the living room with more windows. It's so much colder than like the back of the house is super warm right now. I have the heat on, but up here it's cold. So I have to put a like bundle up kind of up here. I love my onesies. You guys know that. <laughs> They're so nice. I bought the boy one too, and he's been wearing it. It's so cute. But I'm gonna take out my stinky trash because there's veggies in there, and veggies are quite stinky. Something leaked down there. So I put some hot water and a little bit of bleach. I have on my Berkies in there um, to let that soak. And these are like the Burko floor or whatever it's called, like the fake leather situation. Um, things are getting real ghetto around here. I've made a desk out of a folding table from my mother's garage. I went to her garage with a mask. She let me get it out of there. And then this is a storage bench I've been sitting on. And I just have a little office out here. Because I know I have a whole ass office. But I just like to look out at this. <laughs> so I just... I, I wanted something out here instead and I didn't want to move my whole desk. This is more temporary and easy to put away. These are yoga blankets. <laughs> I brought a plant over here because, and I quite like it. This is actually like a lap desk. Um, it folds out and you can sit it over your lap like if you're in the bed or in a chair or something. But I just put it here to elevate my MacBook a little bit and that's my other MacBook that I use for like this one's very slow. I did not get enough memory or whatever in it, so it can't do more than one thing at a time. So if it's processing or exporting a video, I have to use this one to like find my links and all of that kind of stuff. So 
to MacBooks. Anyhow, I actually use this for my back. Sorry, I burped. I use this for my back and then I sit on the bench, but yeah. This is my actual office. Um, so it, like, there's nothing wrong with it. It just kind of looks out on my parking lot. And I mean, I do like it. I do come in here in the morning sometimes and have my coffee and I'll do my planner portion in here. Then I like to go back out here. I had to wash my rugs because somehow I had faced out my shower like outwards and it flooded my floor so um that was fun to clean up and eventually i would i'm gonna have a dining room table they canceled my dining room order which is fine we all know what's going on i don't really want people coming in my house anyhow right now so there will be a round dining room table and then a shelf over there to house like extra office stuff and i think we're gonna put a bed into the guest room. I just finished filming a yoga video. Camera, my other camera. And oh boy, it was sweaty. When I have the heater on in here and it was more of a powerful flow. And holy goodness, I felt it. So if you practice yoga with me here on the internet, I'm sweating along with you. I got those comments on Instagram, they're like, I really broke a sweat and I'm like yep me too girlfriend I broke a sweat as well I should have set this up for a time lapse but I totally forgot the lighting got kind of good so I just like grabbed my stuff ran over there I just film right here this is the first time I've actually used my mat filming usually I don't use my mat because um, it's longer than my rug and that bothers me just a little bit, but I needed it for this practice because there was more balance in it. So I needed the grip of my mat. This is a Lifeform mat. They are having a sale right now, and I think they're donating a lot of their proceeds right now to yoga teachers that aren't able to work. So if you're in the business or in the market for a new yoga mat, and I just set my camera there. This is like a super wide angle camera. So I use that for recording since I don't have anyone to help me record. <sighs> okay, I'm done breathing hard in the camera. I'm gonna go probably shower. Man, my eyebrows look so good. I loved tinting my eyebrows because everything just looks so much better. Like you don't have to put, I don't have any makeup and it just looks okay, it looks fine. Can you guys see the deer? Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. Oh, oh, cause you will always be the. Oh, oh, cause you will always be the one to hold me. You will always be the one who knows me. forest i'm actually kind of annoyed that i have to come to the mailbox because my mailbox key keeps getting stuck in my mailbox and my apartment is only doing like urgent requests or whatever oh let me turn on my flashers and i'm not sure if mailbox not working is 
like an urgent request and I don't want my key to get stuck in there again. So we'll see. Hopefully things go well. Should have brought some oil or something. Maybe that would help. The boy had to help me get it out last time because I couldn't get it out and I'm like screaming for him. He had the music blasting in the car. Anyhow, long story, boring story, frankly. Be back. Sorry y'all, I totally forgot my vlog camera at home so I'm vlogging on my cell phone. But if you've been staying at home and you haven't started your car in a few days, you might wanna do that. I've gotten dead batteries in hot climates and in cold climates from not starting my car every couple of days, so just a public service announcement. <sighs> Apparently landscaping is essential here. Let me take these off, they're very glary and I'm not on the computer right now. So, um, apparently landscaping is essential as you can hear. And I got out my little bag that my grandma got me a couple years ago. It's like, I call it the apocalypse bag and since we're low key in an apocalypse, um, in a year now y'all, in a year now, I wanted to add a couple things to my bag because my mom added stuff to her bag. She added like collapsible dog water bowls, um, a knife, if you have bullets or whatever, add it to it. So they were selling these at my grandma's church and she got one for me, well, one for her, my grandpa, one for me, my mom, my dad, my sister. I think that's everyone she got one for. Mine's vegetarian. They had vegetarian and meat ones. And have I, sh I feel like I've showed you this, but it's been like a long time. So I'm gonna add some stuff to, to my little bag here. My battery's dying though, so I gotta change that first. Okay. <clears throat> I don't, so like all of these pockets, I think, yeah, all of these like front pockets are empty to put stuff in, which I will. And then this, no, that's the one I just opened. Oh, there's like extra secret pockets in here too. So the big pocket is the pocket that has everything in it. I don't wanna drop it everywhere. Okay, here we go. So, it has this big bag in here. And this has like all of the food. So it has creamy vegetable pasta. It has brown sugar maple, maple oatmeal. This is whey milk alternative. Hearty tortilla soup. Southwest beans and rice, which I can't really have beans right now, but I'm sure in the apocalypse I'd make do. Um, and then apple cinnamon cereal. So there are four servings in each one of these pouches. So there's like a lot of food. The only problem is like, you really wouldn't have any way to save it or refrigerate it because a fourth of the package is a serving. It's like 200 calories-ish for one fourth of this. I don't know if they make these in other varieties, but you can probably like, they probably have these on Amazon. So there's a mask in here, which I didn't know or else I probably would have used that mask but I do have a fabric one that someone made for me on the Nextdoor app. And I have some medical masks from my mom because she works in the medical field. Um, I just have two though, not anything major. So I can't open this very well. Okay, here we go. So this is a five function whistle. It's a whistle, compass, signal mirror, capsule and flint all in one and then there's a poncho in here this is a little emergency rain poncho a collapsible camp stove emergency blanket i want to be able to put all this stuff back in here um four fuel tablets for your stove 
a little mug and a mask and a set of playing cards. So if you guys want to make your own bags, you'll know like some some ideas of stuff to put in here. There's a bag of tissues, a first aid kit, a thing of matches, a hand pressing flashlight, so you like press it with your hand instead of clicking a button. And then these are antiseptic cleaning wipes and aqua tablets to purify water and then there's some emergency drinking purified water in here and it's one two three four five six um packets of emergency purified water so that's everything in here and my grandma got these probably two christmases ago they last a very long time my family watches a lot of Walking Dead, so we never know what's gonna happen, y'all. If you have like firearms, if you need to put extra bullets, if you have knives, if you have medication that you need to take, um, put that in there, some aspirin, um, sunscreen, like, I don't know. What do you need in the apocalypse? So I'm gonna add some stuff to my bag and you guys can tell me what you would add to your bag. Or if you think this is even cool or necessary or just plain ass weird, it's up to you. Um, but I do have one. I am gonna add some extra stuff to it just so that if anything happens, like this isn't just for like, ah, run, zombies. <laughs> it's also for like, if there's a hurricane, we just had two tornado warnings in Austin. If there's a tornado and our power goes out for a couple of days, or if there's a hurricane or anything like that where you need a few days worth of food that doesn't have to be cooked or whatever, this is just useful to have. Some people keep them in their like trunks and stuff like that. I think it's way too hot in Texas to do that, but I do keep it like nearby. So if I need to like grab it, go meet my family somewhere. I have it. So that is my emergency bag. I'm just going to add a few little odds and ends to it and then put it away. Then I'm going to try on super cute activewear that I just got from Lola Getz. You guys know I love Lola Getz. I'm an ambassador, but I'm not like sponsored or anything by them. And honestly, I bought these two outfits. A lot of the times they send me stuff like every couple of months or something but with covid and everything i really like these two outfits and after i decluttered my out why can't i talk after i decluttered my active wear i was like man i really love my little get stuff and i just want a couple more outfits and specifically their bralettes or their sports bras so i ordered two sets of from their new collection and i'm super excited one of them oh <laughs> can you say tiger queen you'll see I'll be back in a little bit. Goodbye. Trying to find good lighting in here at night is like nearly impossible. Oh my goodness. Look at this. New Lola Gets. Like I said, I bought these. Um, I have a discount code down below too. I think it's 15% off. Let me not run into that and fall. I mean, that would be entertaining, but also painful. <laughs> so. Lola Gets used to only be plus size, like a size 10 to a size 28. But now they released this for Lady Foot Locker and they do an extra small, yeah, extra small to a size three, which their size three is a 26, 28. I wear the 22, 24, which is a size two. And like, just wow. <laughs> They, it never like ceases to amaze me how fantastic their stuff is. This is just like so fashion forward, trendy, but also like let's do the thing. Full squat. It doesn't move. My pants didn't move. You can't see my ass through them, which is like a problem <laughs> with plus size clothing. And I'm just always blown away. And the these are $69, which I know depending on your price point, that can be a lot. But places like Beyond Yoga, 
their plus size things can be anywhere from like $90. Some of their velvety stuff's like $120. Lululemon charges over $100 for some things. Athleta is like $85 to $90. I feel like for the quality, they could be charging a lot more than this, but I just, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna go try on the other outfit though so that you guys can see both before the sun goes completely man this is so pretty like I can't even take it so this one I have in pink so I knew I was gonna love it they came out with this gray which is just very soft and pretty these ones aren't like as highly compressive as the last ones they have a little bit more space if you want compression you can size down but I really like these they did I say they came out with a blue I'm not really a blue kind of girl so this is what this one looks like just so cute I really like it do they call this tie-dye I they might call it tie-dye I'm not sure but I really like the gray I really wanted the gray the back of these sports bras are just like full coverage and it's nice because it kind of like pulls everything in so the things aren't wobbling when you're trying to be active because sometimes that can be like annoying you know like i said these aren't compressive but they are squat proof like fully no gaps in the waistband doesn't move when you squat love lily gets for that reason and it just looks good and it feels good and i want to wear this stuff that's why i ordered more after i decluttered i was like I like this brand I just want to wear this brand and I have some Athleta that I kept a couple Fabletics pieces mostly tops that I kept were Fabletics and what else one thing from a couple things from Lane Bryant mostly tops again one two pairs of Lane Bryant leggings for dance classes because they're like a little bit more compression what else I think that's all yeah that's it but I, I don't even want to change out of this I'm like oh yeah this is nice cozy my stretch marks are gonna close out the vlog today thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you're doing as well as you possibly can and I love you guys endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more even if you have stretch marks because I do be the